And now to a crime alert, a police are pulling over a driver in a U-Haul and finding more than 100 pieces of stolen mail inside. And that suspect now facing some serious charges. And this comes after a similar incident earlier this week in Sunrise. Local 10 Sanella Zabovic is live with the development. Sanella. That's right, ladies, a traffic stop leading to a big bust. As you mentioned, more than 200 pieces of stolen mail recovered. The alleged thief is now facing federal charges. A male bandit caught and cuffed accused of stealing mail from a plantation neighborhood. Officers say the suspect was in a U-Haul truck going to numerous mailboxes along Northwest 94th Avenue and 15th Street. Once they got to the truck, they would make quite the find. More than 200 pieces of mail, including some packages. In one package, there appear to have been several pieces of jewelry. The alleged thief is now facing federal charges. The stolen mail has been returned to their rightful owners. There's a lot of people who have been posting, indicated that their mail has been stolen. Uh, some of their mail was returned to them from the, the rented truck that was driving around picking up mail. Could this U-Haul have been involved in another mail theft out of Sunrise? We first reported it to you on Monday. In that particular case, cameras in a residential neighborhood off Northwest 35th Street captured someone driving a U-Haul and stealing mail at night over the weekend. These trucks coming up one side of the street with the arm coming out and then going down the other side of the street. In the morning, neighbors noticed open mailboxes. Maybe yesterday or the day before, I came outside and I noticed uh, one, two, three of the mailboxes were just left open. And then I went in and I looked. I mean, there was nothing in the mailbox. Sunrise police confirmed this morning's truck did have mail from their city. Postal inspectors are now involved and say it's too soon to tell if the two thefts are connected. Plantation police investigators have not yet released the identity of the person behind the thefts. Again, that individual is facing federal charges and will make a federal court appearance. That is the latest here out of Plantation. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News. Sonella, thank you.